Hey guys, welcome to Analytics Vidya. As machine learning continues to reshape businesses, the demand for skilled professionals who can seamlessly bridge the gap between model development and model deployment is soaring high. That's where MLOps comes into play, the fusion of machine learning and DevOps principles. In this video, we are unveiling the MLOps roadmap for 2024, a step-by-step -step guide designed to take you from an absolute beginner to a proficient MLOps professional. Whether you are looking to enter the field or level up your skill, this roadmap has got you covered. All right, this is going to be a nine month roadmap where uh, we have broken down the journey into three quarters of uh, three months each. In quarter one, uh, you will learn how to train machine learning models offline and deploy them with basic tools like Flask again offline. In quarter two, which is the next three months, uh, you will take your models to the cloud, containerizing them with Docker and deploying them in the big leagues like uh, AWS, Azure or GCP or freemium platforms like Heroku. Moving on in quarter three is where we'll tell you about how to implement MLOps specific to NLP or computer vision. For uh, all the three quarters, we are going to provide you with the projects you must complete to build a solid portfolio and uh, showcase that on your resume as well as on your LinkedIn profile. So let's dive into the roadmap now. Before jumping into the first quarter, you must know a few things beforehand. This includes a solid grasp on uh, programming language like Python. It's an absolute, absolute must. You must also have a good understanding of data analysis. For that, you need to learn data cleaning, wrangling, exploratory data analysis with Python libraries like Pandas, NumPy, and Matplotlib. Now the goal for you in quarter one is to learn how to develop as well as deploy machine learning models at an offline level within your machine. So let's see what it takes uh, to do that. Start off by learning the essential machine learning skills, understanding of uh, basic machine learning algorithms, evaluation matrix and model selection techniques is necessary at this point. So if you are a professional who is starting in this domain, revise these topics. For freshers, you must learn these skills within this quarter one. Next comes delving into the power of uh, version control using Git. With version control, you are able to track and merge different branches, audit changes, and enable concurrent work to accelerate software delivery. Plus, in MLOps, model versioning is vital. This includes keeping track of uh, different ML models you have trained, their parameters, and experiments as well. You should know about uh, the different tools you can use to track your experiments. Explore tools like MLflow, DVC, or Neptune for this. Next, you should focus on model packaging or serialization. Now, why is that important? Packaging your model helps in easy deployment. Additionally, learn Python libraries like Pickle or Joblib that allows for model serialization for easy deployment. Moving on to model serving. To serve a model is to expose it to the real world and ensure it meets all your production requirements. Here, focus on building a simple web app uh, with Flask to serve predictions through APIs. You may also try out uh, frameworks like Streamlit or Gradio for this deployment stage. The project you may do during this uh, quarter one is AQI or air quality index prediction. For this project, uh, first build the model and then deploy it as a Flask API or uh, maybe as a Streamlit or Gradio app and then test it with new data. You may check out uh, our uh, top machine learning projects in this particular video. At the end of quarter one, you are uh, able to do both model development as well as deployment into an offline environment. Now in quarter two, the goal would be to deploy at an online level or in the cloud. So that's what we'll be discussing next. To start with in the quarter two, learn any one of the major cloud platforms, maybe AWS, GCP or Azure. These platforms generally offer uh, free credits that you may use to get started. Or again, you may go for a freemium platform like Heroku. Basically, choose a platform that aligns with your business requirements and future goals. Learn the basic functions like how to set up a cloud environment followed by navigating within the cloud environment. Running Jupyter Notebooks or other IDs on the cloud platform. How to optimize for storage, security and ML platforms, etc. Then try to uh, build your uh, first machine learning model on a cloud platform using the machine learning services. Thereafter comes Docker. It's a go-to platform for uh, developing, shipping and running applications. Docker enables you to separate your uh, application from your infrastructure so you can 
deliver software quickly for production. So we need to learn about Docker, which helps in packaging your machine learning models. Additionally, implement containerization. Now, what is containerization? It is the process of bundling an application, which is your machine learning model, and its dependencies, libraries, and configuration files into a self-contained unit that run across different uh, operating environments. Here, the main aim is to learn to deploy Dockerized uh, ML models to cloud platforms using services like Kubernetes or out-of-the-box solutions like Amazon Elastic Container Service, Azure's Kubernetes service or Google Kubernetes engine. The model monitoring stage comes after uh, model deployment and it does exactly what it says, monitoring the model. In other words, cloud monitoring and uh, logging is basically managing your cloud infrastructure and applications. Under this, learn to implement uh, monitoring and logging systems with tools like CloudWatch in AWS, Azure Monitor in Azure or Stack Driver in GCP. Or you may also go with an open source tool like Prometheus. Moving on, you must know how to implement continuous integration and continuous deployment, also called CI-CD. Continuous integration in machine learning means that uh, every time a code or data is updated, the machine learning pipelines reruns. This is done in a way that everything is versioned and reproducible. Continuous deployment, on the other hand, is a method to automate the deployment of new releases to production. In simple words, CI-CD automates code changes and deployments, making sure you can always, always recreate and track what happened. Here, explore tools like uh, Travis CI or Jenkins. In quarter two, you should develop and deploy the projects from quarter one, but this time on the cloud. Train them using a cloud-based uh, machine learning platform and deploy it to your chosen uh, cloud platform using CI-CD pipelines. All right, now we have come to the final quarter, which is the last three months of your learning journey. Uh, your goal here is to learn how to implement MLOps in natural language processing and computer vision. By the way, you may also choose one of the two, either NLP or computer vision based on your business needs or your own personal interest. With the rise of uh, NLP, we need to streamline the rising use of uh, NLP based applications and that is giving uh, rise to this whole domain of MLOps for NLP. Automating the creation, training, testing and deployment of NLP models in production systems is the goal here. Key areas you should uh, cover are uh, these. First area is data management and pre-processing where uh, first comes text pre-processing techniques that includes tokenization, stemming, lemmatization, entity recognition, etc. This is followed by data augmentation, which is a technique of artificially increasing the training set by creating modified copies of our data set using existing data. It entails uh, techniques like back translation, synonym replacement, paraphrasing, etc. to address NLP's inherent data scarcity. Second area is uh, model training and deployment. Under this, learn to train models with NLP specific frameworks. Learn frameworks like Spacey, Hugging Face Transformers and uh, TensorFlow Text for efficient NLP training and development. Thereafter, cover model serving for NLP applications. Explore various deployment options like APIs, microservices and containerization for uh, serving NLP models in real world scenarios. Finally comes monitoring and evaluation. Here focus on NLP specific metrics like uh, BLEU or ROG and uh, F1 score for evaluating NLP models. Similarly, building on your existing MLOps foundation for uh, computer vision, here are some key areas uh, to cover to deepen your understanding in this particular domain. First comes data management and pre-processing. Here, uh, start off by learning image augmentation techniques like geometric transformations, color space augmentation, and further advanced techniques like cutout, mixing images, elastic deformation, etc. Then comes domain adaptation and transfer learning. Here, you learn adapting uh, models trained on one domain to another through transfer learning. Data standardization and normalization are uh, important too for proper data pre-processing for computer vision tasks, including uh, scaling, normalization, and noise reduction. In terms of data labeling, you should learn some of the techniques, namely bounding box annotation, etc. Then we come to model training and deployment. Here, understand the advantages of using GPUs and TPUs for efficient training of uh, large computer vision models. Familiarize yourself with the costs that are involved in using these uh, online compute resources. You optimize cost by right sizing resources, utilizing sport instances, monitoring usage, and uh, using techniques like model pruning and uh, cost aware scheduling. 
Further, to keep the cost low, leverage cloud cost management tools as well. Finally comes monitoring and evaluation. Here, delve into task-specific metrics like uh, interaction over union, mean average precision, and F1 score for evaluating computer vision models. During these final months, you may pick up real-time sentiment analysis for uh, social media post as your NLP project. Under this, build a pipeline that analyzes social media posts in real-time, classifying sentiment and generating reports for brand reputation management. And for computer vision, you may work on medical image anomaly detection for diagnostics, develop an MLOps pipeline that analyzes medical images like X-rays or CT scans to detect anomalies and assist medical professionals in their diagnosis. So this is your complete nine-month learning path to become a MLOps professional. As Analytics Vidya, we have helped more than 400,000 data professionals achieve their dreams through our industry-focused career roadmaps. Additionally, you may also join our Analytics Vidya community platform where you get data science and generative AI community groups tailored just for your interest, opportunities to learn alongside your peers, and above all, you get free access to live webinars and AMA sessions from industry experts. So that's all we had for you today. Uh, for more such informative data science content, subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever our new video is live. Happy learning to you. See you in the next video. Bye.